This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so uh, we will be starting our next topic. Is equipment. So the topics that we are going to cover in equipment, they are, we will see purpose of creation of equipment. Okay, uh, how to create a customer, what is the purpose of creation of uh, customer equipment, we will see. Different equipment categories, what are the different equipment categories we have and uh, the equipment category which is used for customer service module we will see then we will see we will create the equipment in the system okay so we will see how to create change everything we will see and then equipment installation at functional location i'll show you the place where you can do that but functional location we will be discussing in the next topic okay then reports for equipments appointments and configuration of the equipment so we will see as usual uh, configuration of the equipment okay so first we will start with the introduction to equipment we will understand what is equipment okay a piece of equipment is an individual independent complex complex fixed asset at which technical services are performed so equipment is like a individual object okay suppose let's say you are selling a product to the customer let's say you are manufacturing and uh, selling a refrigerator to the customer so that independent that individual refrigerator can be called as a equipment let's say you are manufacturing a uh, let's say tv television set television you are selling it to the smart uh, smart tv you are selling it to customer that smart tv that particular smart tv is called as an equipment okay where you can do some technical services pieces of equipment usually represent single objects that's what i just explained such as pumps, motors, vehicles, for which maintenance tasks should be performed. So where you do service task or maintenance task, that is called equipment. Okay, equipment can be installed at functional locations. So once once you create equipment, you can uh, install at a functional location. What is this functional location? How they are created? Okay, what is the importance of functional locations that we will see in the subsequent sessions? We have a separate session for that. In that we will be covering a piece of equipment can be linked with a material if there is a need for inventory management so this equipment is from customer service side module side suppose let's say in your company you are manufacturing some products before selling it to the customer you want to track its inventory stock then in that case you have to create that equipment also as a material and you need to link them you need to link them so already we created a material if you recollect our uh, earlier sessions we already created 500 kva dg as a as a material so today we are creating the same dg as a equipment equipment okay in addition to direct creation of equipment automatic creation of equipment master records from sales orders or from some other records is also supported so you can create equipment in two ways manual or automatic both we will cover okay so equipment creation equipment creation you have two methods one is manual means manual you can do through ie01 okay another one is automatic automatic there are various methods are there that also you can do okay we will cover both in this session how to create manually and also how to create automatically okay but normally in the industries uh, especially in the customer service module they create equipments automatically manually they will not create normally okay but as a as a as a, as a consultant we should know the manual procedure also what data will maintain everything we will discuss okay so we will see both okay so this is the one we just discussed so equipment as just discussed equipment is nothing but a individual service relevant technical asset so where you do some service activity okay it can be a customer device so for us it is a customer the product which we uh, which we are selling to the customer customer equipment and also in in plan maintenance module it can be a production machine it can be a means of transport that means a truck a lorry those kind of things even test equipment which are used in the quality laboratory prts production resource tools some system parts even vehicles 
car car those kind of things van those kind of things all are considered as equipments but from cs perspective it is a customer product the product we are uh, we manufacture and sell it to the customer okay so why so we already have a material now why we need to create equipment so at material level you cannot maintain the warranty information okay material is just a material you you cannot assign a uh, serial number to the material so to assign to to know the serial number to have the warranty information all those things we need to create equipment okay so you can with the in the equipment master you can maintain its warranty information to which customer we have sold that uh, that pro product its serial number all those things you have to maintain you can maintain in the equipment which you cannot maintain in the material master that is the reason we need to create equipment okay so now uh, i just discussed what is the need for creating the equipment you always create an equipment master record for a technical object under the following condition you need to manage individual data for the object so I want to know uh, what is that product, what is that uh, equipment, what is its serial number, its warranty, okay, uh, where it, uh, which which maintenance plant, which planning plant is responsible for technical service of that product, that uh, equipment, okay, who is the planner group responsible, all those things you can maintain. When breakdown planned and preventive maintenance tasks are required for an object, you need to record maintenance tasks. So now. Uh, once you have the equipment the product as equipment you can for that individual object you can maintain all the data okay you need to collect and evaluate technical data for object over longer periods of time so now for each object you are doing the service activity then you can track everything for a particular product which is at customer site how many times we have done the technical service how many times the complaints have come all those things you can uh, have the data and you can evaluate it you need to monitor the cost of maintenance tasks for the object this is also very important so your service cost service cost for that particular product equipment that you can track and you need to record the usage time of the object at functional location this is for pm not for cs because for in cs the product is at customer side equipment is at customer side so normally you will not be able to record the usage times normally this is the, the last one is purely for pm module actually okay uh, so this is the one so, so if you have a equipment equipment you can manage the individual data recording of your service tasks for each object you can record it object based recording of cost so at each equipment level you can get the your service cost okay and evaluation of technical data technical data you can you can uh, once you have the data for each equipment separately you can evaluate it how many times service activity has been done how many times customer complained to us on that on that product on that equipment everything you can evaluate of course the last one is for pm not for uh, not for uh, cs actually okay so these are the reasons we need to create the each product as a separate equipment okay so now we will talk about before creating the equipment we should know equipment category equipment category what is equipment category okay equipment category will tell you what type of equipment it is okay uh, basically to create a equipment equipment category is mandatory so this equipment category will tell you what type of equipment it is whether it is a machine machine whether it is a fleet object vehicle okay whether it is a prt production resource tool or whether it is a test equipment okay what type of equipment it is so normally in our cs we will be using the equipment category yes customer equipment yes in the pm modules you might have used machine m you might have used q q okay for prts you might have used p but in customer service module we will be using the category yes customer equipment okay so now we will create the equipment we'll go to the system and we'll create a okay so in the equipment master record you have these tabs where you will maintain the data you in the general you have tabs like general data location data organization data structure data and also sales data because it is a customer 
it is located it is it is ready it is uh, we are selling it to the customer and so you will maintain some sales data also on top of that you can maintain the serial data warranties data because we are selling it to the customer and we will give some warranty okay one year warranty or five years warranty all the data you will maintain and partner information so who is responsible for that equipment in an internal or external both okay on some other data you can maintain you can maintain okay so now let's create the equipment in the system okay so i'll, I'll go to the system now okay so Okay, so the T code is IE01. Go to IE01. Okay, create equipment. Okay, now here uh, equipment number system will assign. You don't have to worry. Okay, it is valid from today and category. We we have just discussed what is category and all. So in PM in CS module, if you go to the list by default, we will be using yes customer equipment. This one. see here yes this we will be using. Other categories are used in plan maintenance. Module.